So I've been thinking about how to handle my cash in for a tag team championship match. Again with this my thing. We both won the Money in the Bank ladder match, and we should both get a say in how to cash it in. What? Are we supposed to decide by committee? Hold a vote or something? <laughs> that sounds fair. How's that gonna play out? I vote for my way and you vote for yours? Besides, holding the Money in the Bank briefcase isn't just about being skilled in the ring. It's about being sneaky too. Leveraging the briefcase to cash in when your opponents are off their game. I don't think you have that in you. When I was down on main event, you couldn't even take advantage of that opportunity. I can be sneaky. No, I can see it now. You walk up to the champs, politely tap them on the shoulders, and respectfully challenge them to a match. You're too much of a good girl, LJ. You need to be willing to play dirty. I can play dirty when I want to. Then prove it. Take someone out when they don't expect it. Then, you and I can negotiate how we cash in the briefcase. Fine, I'll do it. Not that I have anything to prove. That's not Lacey's music, and that's not Lacey Evans. This isn't the scheduled match. Does anyone know what the issue is between these two superstars? Who knows, but the referee is turning this into a match. It's official, Shotzi's scheduled match against Lacey Evans has been replaced by a match against the insurgent rookie. Apparently, one half of the briefcase holding pair already has a little more swagger in her step after that thrilling tag team Money in the Bank victory. And let me tell you, I'm digging it. Shotzi gets drawn in. Taking a turn for her now. Yeah, but too soon to be worried. Ooh! Oh, perfect kick! Oh, man! What a strike! Stepping through. Legs all locked up here. Just punishing their opponent. Ouch! Turnbuckle's the only thing keeping her upright. seen how damaging pile drivers can be and that one looked particularly painful she starts to rise back up but does she know where she is don't do it somersault plunge out of the floor that was coming in hot at breakneck speed going fast and living dangerously oh quite an effective counter good chance for her to gain her wits about her Wow, what a situation! Hanging armbar locked in! This is bad. This is really bad. Shotzi is really falling behind. Shotzi is going into a roadblock. High risk! She comes up empty. Cover here! And a quick kick out. She's not done yet, but you have to believe that she's still in all sorts of trouble here. Kick to the gut. The setup. Up and. And Shotzi reverses it. Could be a sign of Shotzi turning her fortunes around. And this is just next level brutality. And she had Shotzi's number there. Slipway! She's going for it. This could be. She fights her shoulder up before one. She kicked out there, but. I don't know how much more she can take. And finds a counter. Oh, stop. Shoulders down. And that's all she wrote. Here is your winner, Dr. Britt Baker. No other way to put it, guys. That was kind of a butt kicking. An absolute statement by the victor here tonight. What a steamroller.
happy now? See, I can be surprising. I don't have to always play by the book. The apology on social media after the fact really drove home how much of a threat you are. I just wanted her to know I didn't have anything against her. I did what you asked, so let's figure out this cash in. Fine. I've got to head out now, but get your lame thoughts in order and we'll talk about it next week. Ugh, you're the worst. No longer in someone else's shadow, this wrestler has a bright future. The following is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Dr. Britt Baker. Matches like these, with talent of this caliber, this is why sports entertainment is in our form.
popularity. Yeah, and quickly earned success too, Michael. Shotzi's a former NXT Tag Team Champion and nearly defeated Ronda Rousey for the SmackDown Women's title. The red-hot rivalry between Shotzi and her opponent is about to get the temperature turned up another notch here on SmackDown. These two have already thrown a rule book out of the window, so what better way to settle things than a no-disqualification match? Bring on the chaos. Across the top rope. Bang! Oh, Shotzi caught by the counter. Shotzi at a disadvantage. She begins to stir back up, but does it look good? No! Oh, God! That is the attitude of a daredevil. The ability to take risk with minimal trepidation. No fear, absolute reckless abandon. You saw that one coming. Improving a bit slippery for them there. Oh, I hope they back up. They're, they're getting too close for comfort. Well, no one's paying attention to you, Saxon. They're too busy beating the tar each other. Oh, kendo stick wrapped around their head. She's looking for something under the ring to even her odds here. Oh, man. Take me out to the ball game. We are witnessing a malicious string of attacks right now. <laughs> Made her pay for her mistake. Throws her back in from ringside. Heads out of the ring, what's next? And she's wasting no time kicking things up by bringing this chair into play. And you can tell there are cruel intentions in mind right now. Oh man, meeting the barricade. Oh, vicious Russian leg sweep. Right into the barricade. No telling what's underneath the ring tonight. All right, now what the heck is a traffic sign doing under the ring? Kendo stick impact! Watch out! They're coming towards the announce desk! What the hell are you doing, Byron? Boom! And Shotzi is being taken apart here. Yeah, Shotzi finding herself on the wrong end of every exchange. Shotzi with a retaliation. And Shotzi stops any momentum that was building against her. Maybe Shotzi's found a new source of aggression to battle back with. Gets inside the ring. Just tormenting her opponent with a kendo stick. She's just teasing her with that device of destruction. Just waving that bat in her opponent's face. And now she's getting back into the ring. We're seeing the same aggression here that we saw during that pre-match attack last week. It's Raquel Rodriguez. Apparently, she's not a fan of how Shotzi was used to prove a point. Raquel and Shotzi haven't always seen eye to eye, but these two came up together in NXT. I guess that counts for something. Either that or she just wanted in on the fun of this no DQ match. All this is perfectly legal. And so was that. Ava Marino from behind. This team may not have cashed it in yet, but that briefcase is proving to be pretty handy. Shotzi with a roll up. Ava slides the briefcase in, and she nails Shotzi. Looking to capitalize. She got the win. I guess the briefcase did turn out to be the determining factor in this match. And some teamwork, too. Something that we haven't seen yet from this pairing. They may not have chosen each other initially, but maybe this tag team does have what it takes to make good on the promise of that Money in the Bank briefcase. <sighs> that was unexpected. You defending me in the ring? It certainly was. I was talking about Raquel. We're tag team partners. It's not like I don't like you. You have literally told me before that you don't like me, Ava. Fair point. But I didn't know you, 
You were just some new girl coming in to take my spot. I wasn't trying to take anyone's spot. I was trying to start my career. Sure. But your journey to WWE was very different than mine. You started with the WWE legend in the family. Your support system was in the business already. You even knew some of the crew. I had none of that. Things have always been harder for me, and it was difficult seeing you get an opportunity right off the bat. <laughs> Did it help that I crashed and burned in my debut? <laughs> it certainly did not hurt. I can't control what family I was born into any more than you can. We're bound to have different perspectives and experiences. You're right. Probably explains why I find some of the stuff you do so annoying. You know, besides just the fact that you're the entitled niece of a legend. <laughs> you're just kinda mean generally, huh? See? Now we're really getting to know each other. Which is actually a good thing if we're going to work together on this cash-in. Let's finally have that talk and figure out how we're going to do it. Speaking of... Ava, where's the briefcase? I thought you had it. No, I don't. You don't know where it is? I... do not. Well, this is not great. We need you to go to Shotzi and Raquel and tell them to give our briefcase back. They're not listening to us. Hate to say it, guys, but WWE briefcase law has always been pretty vague. I'm not sure if possession is nine-tenths of the law, but it's certainly a fractional value of some sort. But they stole it from us! Stole it! Ava, I'd expect you of all people to understand a bit of deviousness, but both of you save your breath. A decision has already been made. WWE management has decreed that you'll face them for the briefcase in a match next week. That's not fair, Molly. Didn't say it was, but that's what's happening. Then we're going to use everything at our disposal to make sure they never try anything like this ever again. This wrestler grew up in the business, and now she's growing up before our very eyes. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall. Introducing first, from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Dr. Britt Baker. Gentlemen, this has all the makings of an all-time classic match, and I fully expect it to deliver on that promise. They don't come tougher than this wrestler. It's Ava Moreno and her partner from the Bronx, New York, Ava Moreno. Ava Moreno has the kind of ruthless singular focus that should make any opponent worry. Plus, she's a former track and soccer star in high school, so she's got the endurance to hang with anybody. All she needs is the opportunity. Superstars in history, but she is quickly. 
growing in popularity. Yeah, and quickly earned success too, Michael. Shotzi's a former NXT Tag Team Champion and nearly defeated Ronda Rousey for the SmackDown Women's title. After a shocking turn of events, Ava Moreno and her partner's Money in the Bank briefcase is back up in the air tonight against Shotzi and Raquel Rodriguez. Well, it's not technically in the air because its new owners, Shotzi and Raquel, have refused to disclose its whereabouts. Although I guess it, it could be in the air somewhere. Thanks, Saxton. You should have been a detective. One after another. into the corner. Knew what was coming there. Uh-oh. Double suplex released. Oh, God. Here's her tag. She sent to the outside. She's found an opening. in the corner, needs to recover. <laughs> the communication between these two is evident by that move. Shotzi ducks, nails a discus forearm. This could be the moment that officially puts the briefcase in the hands of Shotzi and Raquel. What's Shotzi doing? It's the stolen Money in the Bank briefcase. They said it was in a safe place. I guess the safe place was under the ring, Byron. The original briefcase winner counters. She's the one who's taking advantage of the referee distraction now. One, two, three. This match is over. Well, it's over, but that's probably not the ending Shotzi and Raquel had in mind. And the ownership of the Money to Bank briefcase is officially returned to the original winners. Hopefully now they can put this behind them and officially set their sights on cashing in for the Tag Team Championships. At the very least, I bet they'll keep better track of the briefcase from now on. Okay, that was fun. And look how far you've come. Got the timing right this time, and the ref didn't see a thing. If you had used the chair that fast in our match, I would have been done. I still don't like it, but I see your point. Fighting dirty is necessary sometimes. That's my girl. Knew there was a little rebel in you, LJ. And now that's settled, we still need to decide how we're cashing in our briefcase. Our? Nice. And it's about time we finally have this conversation. But who gets to decide how we do it? You wanna face me in the ring again? Whoever wins gets to call the shots. I'm ready. Nah, not when I'm starting to think you might not be the worst person ever. Generous. <laughs> Let's take out our aggression on other people who are arguably worse than you. A beat the clock challenge. One of us takes Raquel, one of us takes Shotzi. Whoever wins faster gets to decide how we cash in. Huh. I love it. I'll face Raquel. 
Then I'll take Shotzi. Best of luck, partner. It's the superstar who's driven to live up to all the hype. The following is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Dr. Britt Baker. This is the kind of match the WWE Universe has been dreaming of, and that dream is about to become a reality. Raquel Rodriguez, a massive presence in the women's division. And from Rio Grande Valley, Texas, Raquel Rodriguez. And NXT Rodriguez won the first ever Women's Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic for the first ever NXT Women's Tag Team Champions. Well, Cole, you can bet Raquel has some more firsts in store for the main roster. After reacquiring their stolen briefcase in a tag team match, Ava Moreno's partner is now facing Raquel Rodriguez one-on-one, -on -one, while earlier tonight, Ava took on Shotzi. Maybe they wanted to teach Raquel and Shotzi individual lessons about stealing? It feels like something other than morality is at play here, especially since these teammates have decided to turn this into a beat-the-clock challenge. And Ava set a tough time to beat at 3 minutes and 47 seconds. Survive that. Super kick. She's pushed into the corner. Oh, kick connects. That offense taking a toll on her. She still has a lot of time to recover, though. Insulting. This onrush has got to be draining Rodriguez. You got to wonder, what does this do to Raquel's confidence? From the apron, look out below! And now thrown back into the ring. Oh, this is not going to be good. into the pin. There's two! She is still fighting, still keeping this going. Oh, what a kick. Ooh. Super kick! And now she's demonstrated her whole arsenal. She's unloading move after move. Face buster! The better part of Valor. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. Hellacious power slam. Getting dangerously close to our desk. That's it. I'm out of here. Look at this power slam. Oh, there's a response against Raquel. Oh, tossed hard into the ring post. Kick to the gut. The setup. Up and face first. Oh man, they do not care who or what they destroy. Yeah, Byron, you are dangerously close to being collateral damage in this one. Everyone needs to get out of the way of this fight. This feels so unsafe. She has her target weighed and measured. That dodge can buy Raquel time. Taking the fight near our announce table. I really hope we get these desks at a discount. Coming back into the ring, back to the action. <laughs> Tremendous. Uh oh. <laughs> Counters that. Just a dominant display. Incredible power slam. Oh, it didn't go as planned there. Kick to the gut. The setup. Up and. Hit by a buster! 
That should do it right there. Couldn't finish it in the given time limit, and this one's a draw. What a boring result. Tough break, LJ. But a deal's a deal. You weren't able to beat my time. I've got a plan to cash in the briefcase. When you're ready to make a move and go for it, let me know. Fair is fair. Will do.